G'day, my name's Josh. Just wanted to show you a little side project that I've been working on. So late last year, my wife came to me and said, I need a new website for my performing arts. And so I need to have students to be able to enroll in something online. She was doing it all on pen and paper. So being a developer uh, on the Keystone team, I thought, hey, I've got just the tool. So here it is. This is my wife's performing arts school. She teaches music and drama. So all of this information is pulled from Keystone. So we've got uh, lesson times uh, and uh, fees. All of that is pulled in from, from Keystone data. We've got a timetable uh, thanks to Tailwind. And then we have an opportunity to enroll in a, on a dashboard. So I'll bring you over. This is all running on Vercel. I'll bring you over to my little preview site here. And I can go in and register for a new account. I can pop in some test information. Okay, and we've got a little Cloudflare uh, capture here, and that should let me in. So I can now set up my first student. Let's give everyone testing names, a selector, date of birth, randomly. Uh, I'll put their year level in and that will help with seeing what lessons are available for them. And so now I can see some available lessons and enroll them. So that's a fairly uh, broad run through of what the, what the front end looked like. Let's dive in and have a look at the Keystone backend. So again, we're running on Vercel per Keystone. This is, uh, and you can see here, I've got some, this is my test account that I've just set up with all that information there. Uh, and students, this test student, and the enrollments that they're in. So now my wife can come in here. She can see the enrollments that are pending and confirm those. And that will then send an email off to those, uh, to the students, to the account and uh, confirm that they're enrolled in the class. Let's jump in and have a look at some code. So here is the code, um, all on GitHub. If you want to have a look, um, I'll, I'll post the, post some links in wherever this, vi this video ends up. Um, but we can see here, we've got our source folder. Um, we've got Keystone in here. Um, we've got a Keystone JS, so this is all just in a in a single repo, uh, and um, defining our lists over here, accounts and and billing. Uh, if 
we look at say a student um, we've got our filter access control uh, and our uh, on an enrollment you can see a hook here I'm actually using uh, Ingest, which is a, um, yeah, have a look at Ingest, integrates with um, Vercel quite nicely uh, to do background tasks. So instead of waiting for the, um, for that to happen on the front end, um, we can just offload that to, to a background task and that'll, that'll send uh, the enrollment there. Uh, and then, where all of this is running on Vercel, which if if you um, if you're new to Keystone might not be that obscure, but if you if you've been using Keystone for a while, you'll know that um, it's traditionally we've been running on on Express uh, on its own server. So I'm using uh, if you've seen a blog post late last year about Get Context, that is here. So. I'm using get context uh, and next next auth uh, get server session uh, to for the uh, for the pages. So running out of the app directory, you can see here all my all my pages here, uh, my home page uh, and the say a lesson which we can get the we're getting the session context, so it's just getting the authenticated session for that user, and then getting all the all the lessons that they can see. So, say in a in a dashboard for students, uh, that that's an ad. So here's the students uh, and students list and that's pulling in again the students and then keystone access control is then filtering that for the student for only the students that they can see and we're rendering all that in uh, in in the page so that's a little thing I did over the holidays uh, if you have any questions you want me to go into something deeper feel free to comment tweet um, whatever and I'll, I'll hopefully be making some more videos soon. Thanks.